So <clears throat> this is what I look like post-exercise. Um, we are looking for a lost phone at the moment, but uh, the big thing, so never mind the expense <clears throat> of the CBD bleeding like four or $500 a month, but only one brand seems to be reliable of those that I have tried. So I dropped the ball and did not leave enough time for shipping. I There's two different places. One is a better price and just prefer them as a company. Um, but you still, ugh, they're shipping bullshit. It, you know, it requires a signature. Am I going to be fucking home when they show up? Unlikely. Which house do I send it to? I have two, like, come back and forth. Anyway, I fucked it up. Point being, it was already a bit of a head fuck. The recording look. Oh. Um, it was already a bit of a head fuck to take, um, bit yeah it was a it was a head fuck to be ingesting synthetic thc cbd um in sobriety treating a medical condition that's enough work but fucking running out of it it's bad you know what i mean so uh i could run out um the dose checking in i'm gonna have to try to like post these in order uh the dose the brand is i don't care Looks like this. So this is Metafarm Labs. Uh, here we go. Metafarm Labs CBD 100. 100. CBD 100. So what does that mean? Um, well, the math honestly pisses me off to think about too much, but this is a 30 mil bottle. This is a one mil syringe. The ratio is 95. Oh, there's a small child trying to find his mother's. <laughs> um, just moved my computer to this room. Listen, man, what are you doing? You distracted me and you're on camera. Have you found the phone yet? <laughs> and you? No, I'm shooting a video. I'm trying to work with CBD. <laughs> <laughs> you're distracting me can you give me a hold on let me pause this guy's this child is feral okay we're good <laughs> um one mil syringe so um the split in any in any one mil dose is 95 percent cbd under five let's say under five uh thc learned through trial and error uh, had I been able to work with just CBD, um, not only is it not as effective without the THC there to activate it, um, but it's extremely expensive to have the dose that I require. Um, this is a 95-5 split, but I require <laughs> two, I feel like I'm like, I require gummy bears in my hotel. No, I require two mils every three to four hours well now i'm trying to wrap my i'm up for an extended period of time like we're talking about 600 800 mils a day it can be point being it's very easy to run out of this shit so ship ahead and when it comes to stay away from primary i would say ocs um ontario cannabis if you are not in ontario i don't know you know you're OCS, um, the provincial, um, no stores, like <laughs> medicinal marijuana, it's, it's the same shit that you guys are taking. Like I actually have a pharmaceutical prescription. You don't need one. You can walk into the store and pick one up. Uh, but I've worked with the pharmacist to figure out the dose because I was not wanting to fuck around with it, trying to take it sober. Anyway, my point is um, Metapharm, uh, is occasionally sold in stores, not at the dose that I require. This is CBD 100. I need, I, you know what I mean? I already need two, two mils as a dose. We're talking about three, four doses a day. So if this only has, you know what I mean? I can't have a bottle that has, my point is this is the best one. Let's say that this is the best one. Take my word for it. 
Uh, I get it through OCS. I will put a link in the description when I recall. Um, what the hell else am I saying? Oh, and shoppers, they have a new, I think it's my Medi. Shoppers left the market, sold out their, their business to a different company. So I, I still prefer, I prefer OCS as the primary, um, but no, they need a signature. Um, so they can show up if it's OCS, they're coming between five and 10 30 PM. Um, hopefully you only have one house unlike me. So you'll, you'll, you'll know, you know, and it can be any adult. It can be an adult. Like I share a house with two friends, um, and my, my partner owns the other one. So if I'm any adult, it doesn't need to be me there, but it needs to be an adult that has ID so that they can legally say they left it in the hand of somebody of age. That's the thought behind it. So if you, like me, have any restrictions in terms of the brand and the uh, model, I guess it's not a car, but you know what I mean? If you have any restrictions, uh, don't run out. Don't run out like I have, because then in sobriety, I can tell you that the fucking joint that I've wanted the entire goddamn time, I'd prefer to just walk in and smoke that. I don't even want the oil. No problem. You don't have any more of that overpriced fucking oil that I hate? No problem. Give me the joint. That's the, you know what I mean? Babysitting alcoholism. So never a dull moment integrating psychiatric meds into your sobriety or just your day if you are a non-alcoholic. Anyway, bye.